There is another twist in the ongoing controversy over an early voting site in Rowlett. Today, the mayor and others sued Dallas County over choosing a church with limited parking as the one and only polling place. And a judge agreed that the church should not be the only polling place in the city. Fox Force Peyton Yeager live with the update. Peyton. Clarice, and we want to make this clear for the people living here in Rowlett. The judge's order does not impede anyone from voting at Freedom Place Church. That is still an early voting location. The judge's order means that they just added another location here at the Rowlett Community Center. Now, the mayor of Rowlett and his attorney both say they have argued since the beginning that the Rowlett Community Center has greater infrastructure to run as a polling site. Tuesday, a Dallas County District Judge granted a temporary restraining order, naming the Rowlett Community Center as an additional early voting site in the upcoming 2024 election. The other polling location in Rowlett is Freedom Place Church, which has been the center of a back and forth battle with the city of Rowlett and the county. Unnecessary. That's how Rowlett Mayor Blake Margolis describes this controversy in his city. This is not about the church uh, or the pastor or any individual. This is about simply what is right versus what is wrong. And Tuesday, he called the judge's ruling a win. The community center was used in the 2020 election when more than 22,000 people voted early in Rowlett. This year, Rowlett, with about 70,000 residents, is expecting a big early voting turnout. The Texas election code requires that polling places uh, be a public building. Uh, if a public building is not available, then we can explore private buildings. Uh, Freedom Church is not a public facility at all. The mayor, acting as a private citizen and other citizens, sued members of the county commissioner's court and the elections administrator, claiming the county's choice to make the church the sole early voting site violated state election laws. The judge set a hearing in the case for later this month. But that's not the only action the mayor has taken against Freedom Place Church. He's argued the church offers too few parking spaces and just one ADA compliance space. Last week, the city gave the church 10 days to respond to what it called an occupancy certificate error, citing the lack of parking or face closure. What's fascinating about this is the church didn't choose to be a polling location. Dallas County chose the church to be a polling location. Monday, the pastor of Freedom Place Church and his attorney held a press conference, claiming the church was a target of election interference and religious discrimination. After Tuesday's ruling, the church's attorney released a statement to Fox 4 saying, Right now, we are fighting to make sure our client, the church, is not a casualty of the mayor's attacks against Judge Clay Jenkins, Commissioner Price, and others who appear to be doing a great job under these circumstances. Closing churches who do things you don't like is not the American way. Dallas County tells Fox 4 it's still finalizing a contract with Freedom Place Church for its use as both an early voting and election day location. The church is requesting more than $15,000. Mayor Margolis says having a polling site at the community center is free of charge, though nobody at the county level could confirm that to Fox 4. The mayor ended his press conference Tuesday with a message to the Dallas County Elections Department. They full well knew that the community center was available for early voting and election day voting, and for some reason they chose a location that is alternative to the public interest. And Clarice, we reached out to Judge Clay Jenkins this afternoon. His office got back to us and says right now they can't comment on pending litigation. So then I called Commissioner John Wiley Price myself this afternoon. At first, he seemed surprised about what took place in court today. And he says for right now, moving forward, he's still speaking with his lawyers.